Buongiorno, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Smackwood WFWF. Uh, I am Dino Winwood, and uh, therefore we are going to have to start this program such later in the evening. But happy that everyone is here to join us uh, in beautiful Milan, Italy. Not really sure where my accent is today, but yeah. So here we go. Just going to go ahead. Scrog Dog, hello. Good to see you. It is very nice evening here in California. But we are live. Regency Wrestling. I know that guy. Again, buongiorno. We are live from beautiful Newland, Italy. To bring you another dry fisted episode of Smackwood. <laughs> That's funny, our logo should be up there, but whatever. As the beautiful Italian fans in attendance. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and go over the match cards for tonight. For we have Neville taking on Braun Bella. Sin Cara taking on Callisto the Great of the Snakeshin of Domination. Then we have us a match uh, middle card promo call out from Tetsumi Fujinami. Uh, let's see here. Oh, not a problem, Scrog. Thank you for saying hello. Then we have the third match of the evening for Eden English and Jack Gallagher. The proper villains set to take on Strong Buffalo. <laughs> Then, in our man event, we are going to have Alistair's Black take on the naked boy Ric Flair. But let's go ahead and start the show now, shall we? Okay, let's uh, turn off the entrances. There's no reason to play them because I constantly get stupid-ass warnings from YouTube saying, Hey, this song is copy it's copywritten, but don't worry, you're not in trouble. It's like, just fucking let me be. Okay, here we go. I don't know how long I'm going to keep this accent going. I'm trying to actually make sure that I, uh, well, I sort of tried to do an accent for a straight hour on a wonderful recording project that I did. You will see that in the future if you are a Patreon. All you need to do is go to regencywrestling.com and become a premium member. Wink, wink. That is called a promotion. Woof. Sorry, I just saw the uh, <laughs> a, a colleague of mine. But here we go, folks. Neville of this mortal coil set to take on the Bron Bella. And I'm just waiting. Look at the vein in the arms of both Bron Bella and Neville. They are very disturbing. And now, starting things off here. Neville not showing any... Oh, shit. Just straight to forearm shotting. Oh, lifting knee to the face of one Bron Bella. And now picking up with the greatest of ease. Sit down, powerbomb. Her feet got caught in the ropes. She's so tall. Heading up. Oh, he's saying, get up, bitch. Says the wonderful Neville. Points the arrows. Shotgun drop kick completely bypassed by the Bron Bella. And no one tried to go for the power slam. Reverse DDTs. Neville now no low impact DDT. Buongiorno, Daniel. Welcome to another edition of Smackwood in Milan, Italy. It's a boot to the head. The forearm smash there by the Brunbella. Rolls through now with the arm drag as Bron Bella, one of the new generation uh, exoticos in the WFWF, making her big debut this year, this season. The arm drag reversal there by Neville. Gets caught with a knee to the midsection. 
Picking up. No, claps the ears. And hip throws over. And Neville is definitely feeding the flow. No. Why were you asking that? Forearm smash. And throwing Neville against the ropes. Luches the leg up from underneath. Standing twisty. One of the signature moves of Mr. Neville as he heads up to the top. And now, no, decides to cancel it and tease our penis. But now, running away from Bron Bella, saying, no, this is not worth it. You're not worth my time. He forbids it. But now comes back in, striking out the Bron Bella. Forearm smash. What the fuck is going on here? And Bron Bella now. Taking the long, lonely walk. Or is she trying to bait Neville? What is she doing towards those mysterious bags that nobody should open in any particular time or any of the broadcasts? Artificial intelligence, my ass. This is so awkward. Neville, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. You son of the bitch. And Bron is just pacing back and forth. As Neville... What? <laughs> Neville wants Braun Bella to come back into the ring and finish the match. I swear to Christ. Oh my god. This no. No. We're calling this a no contest. You can go fuck yourself, Neville. <laughs> We're not going through this one. <laughs> I don't even know and I don't even care who won that match. Mm, there we go. I had something stuck in my teeth. But we have here the next match here of the Lucha Buzzards. Sin Cara set to take on the Snake Charmer of the Snake Ship Domination, Kalisto. Now these two definitely have a history of fighting each other. Um, of course, former champions in their own right. Sin Cara, the former tag team champion. Great Kalisto, former World Television Weight Champion. But here we go. Battles the Luchadores. And the Great Kalisto sneaking out into the audience, clobbering Sin Cara. From behind, this is such a dirty tactic. I wouldn't have expected this from the Lucha Buzzard. But just completely sneak attacking. And now charging in, dropping the Meteora. And the fans chanting for the snatcher that's a crossbody springboard on top of Sinkara. And now, ducks the line. Close lines the head of Kalisto. Stomping down now is the Lucha Buzzard, Sinkara. Just go for the snapper takeover, but as you saw, Kalisto blocking the arm. Need to the bit section. And now picking up probably for the butterfly backbreaker. There it is, such impact. Now heading up to the second drop could invite C uh, yeah, Sinkara is inviting him back to his feet. Heads up! Holy shit! Did he sort across the ring? But Kalisto catches him into a powerbomb position. Dead Valley driver. No, he's going to drive him right on his head. But Sinkara was able to escape it. And now, snap suplex. Stomping away now at the wrist. 
And again, this time secondary to the arm. Again, Kalisto blocks it. Hello, Bearded. And now, flipping Spanish fly there by the Sin Cara. As he heads up. John Jack Shocker by Kalisto. Tries to go for the spinning kick, but is caught with the elbow. Drives with the knee. Floats over. Reverse DDT. Ben. And now Northern Light Suplex. The fans chanting for Lucha. That's exactly what they're getting. Low impact DDT coming in. No, Sin Cara reverses with a knee to the midsection. Step up in Zakuri. Sin Cara taking time to just showboat. This is not the way to do it. Floats in to the powerbomb position. But Sin Cara now punching away the eye socket. Charges in. Hurricane Rana into the ropes. And now capturing Kalisto's head. Hitting him on top of the skull with the elbows. And now the angle, the leaking fun of Kalisto. Chanting Snake Shin. Honor! Hooks the leg. This could very well be it for Kalisto. No! He escapes once again. Springboard, moonsault with the awkward rotation. Still nobody home on that one. As Kalisto now taking the advantage, but gets the dragon scoop whip. And now off the ropes he goes. Drop kick blocked. Overhead shot. Kick to the leg. Grows through. Goes in. Oh shit. German suplex right into those ropes. Set into the corner. Dino's not Italian. Sunset roll. One. Two. No. Kicks out at one. Slap on the back of the head. That's definitely going to piss him off. And now Snake in the basket. Lands it. Hooks both the legs. One. Two. Three. Calisto wins. The sneak attack got into the head of Sin Cara. There he is celebrating. He's a sneaky, slippery snake. And now doing the very theatrical pose of the snake shit of domination. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> As you hear the, <laughs> the weird giggles of Galisto. For a short match, that got three and a half stars. Okay. That is fine. As we head on into the next part of this show tonight. Ah, oh, Tatsumi Fujinami. We'll let the computer decide this one. And what does one half of Team Dragon Dragon... People call him the Dragon of Dragon Dragon... But he's got a microphone time scheduled tonight. He penciled himself in for it on the sign-up sheet. Everybody has the sign-up sheet. If you want to order some of your uh, microphone time to call people out or have them appreciate you more, you just go ahead and you sign up on the sheet. And that is exactly what Tatsumi Fujinami did. So... They're just going ahead and making sure the microphone levels are set properly. For the Japanese legend Tatsumi Fujinami, the dragon in Dragon Dragon. And let's see what he has to say as we head on down to the squared circle in beautiful Mil Milan, Italy. Here on Smackwood Live. Here he comes, pointing at the crowd, showing their appreciation for the dragon of Dragon Dragon.
And now, covering his nipples very properly placed with the rope, Fujinami has something to say. WWE Universe, I wish I could come out here as usual, crack some jokes with you, have a little fun, but something's got me in a bad, bad mood. You don't say, Dragon Dragon. Next. I want to talk to you about a certain superstar. You know what I'm talking about. That guy must have been born on a highway because that's where the most accidents happen. Hey, WWE Universe. <laughs> He's saying hello again. I've been thinking a lot about myself and how I feel about this whole mess. But what about you guys? Do you want to see me pound Sheamus into meat slurry? If you do, let me hear you loud and clear. Wow. He's calling out Sheamus. And here comes the fella. <laughs> you bastard. You're going to call me out here and tell me. <laughs> You're interrupting the Valkyrie slumber. I had to roll out of bed. <laughs> I mean, am I right? Here he is nonchalantly strolling into the ring. You know what? Let's go ahead and just get him in there. Stop, stop, stop. Nah, man. You're going to do that thing you always do. You're not going to avoid a conflict with me because I'm bringing it right to you. Oh, I, I'm sure I don't care, but since yesterday out here, go ahead, tell us what you want, what you really, really want, so we can move on with our lives. <laughs> These sheep are all just sick of you as I am. They tired of your face, tired of your lying ass, and tired of your no talent ass mucking up my ring. Let's finish this shit right now bitch <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what I like to hear my man you come to fight huh gotta say I'm a little surprised thought you were a coward now the kind of guy who tucks his tail and walks when things get rough so you want to bring it or what what the fuck There's not enough space in this ring, in this arena, or in this company for the both of us. So let's end. And I love to compete for these amazing fans. So we can do this tonight. Now and say it. This isn't the right line of work for you. I think your skills are better served elsewhere. Maybe you should pick up another trade. Go back to school. Go back to hoeing. Learn something about yourself. Find what you're good at because this... Close line there by the dragon dragon onto Seamus. And things are about to get really sweaty, folks. As he's picking up the fit fucking fella. The pride of the Valkyrie is in trouble, caught in with the head scissors and driving the elbow into the head. And then he drop right across the throat. As he gets picked up now. Irish whip reversal, a literal Irish whip. That's the man, and Sheamus, he's stupid though, he's trying to mock him, but now he's getting the suplex onto the floor! And these two are definitely bringing the noise, bringing in the funk. And Sheamus now rolling again, picks him up, no, he throws him over, and is caught with a rolling back suplex. Drops the elbow right on the, well, on the floor actually. Passions are burning. Between these two, as Fujinami. Posing it, but Sheamus is not finished. Catches him with the STO. Picks him up. Lifting me right to the chest. And now Sheamus blocks in. Gives him a lifting knee to the chest as well. And defeat fucking fella gets caught with a jaw jack. This was all because Fujinami ordered some microphone time. Got red suplex into the corner. And now heading up to the top. What does Sheamus have in mind here? He's asking him to get back to his feet. And high 
high cross body that is a lot of pale coming down on a man front face like applied lifting me to the face and now off the ropes no he blocks him with a shoulder tackle firebins carry takeover this isn't even a sanctioned match i don't think there's no referees they are just having a little tiff or a row but now it's a scene slams the head one two three four five six seven eight nine ten if you add that one previously it is a 11 times but he gets caught again slammed into the corner right on the hip close line lariat right to the face and referee the referee's finally got into this match he's shoving him off are you shitting me is this now a thing no, they're just having the stare down and it's now awkward in the ring because nobody left. And something tells me this is far from over from Seamus and Tatsumi, the dragon Fujinami. And now we head into the tag team division as the proper villains, Jack Gallagher and Ed in English, take on the team of the strong white buffalo <laughs> now the proper villains are definitely no strangers to tag team action they are a very strong crew they have shared gold in the past when Gallagher was not even in the WFWF scene. It was held by one former alumni, Mr. Simon Gotch. The former double champion and the former tag team champion as well. Is he triple crown winner? Well, as the strong white buffaloes are making their debut as a tag team in this WFWF Universe Broadcast. And let's see how they fare together. As you hear the battle cries of Roderick Strong. <laughs> oh, they're simply walking into war. Alchemist, what the hell? The Squad Circle PD is attacking the Strong White Buffaloes. Punching away. As the big balls man and the Brock Brockman now walking in towards the proper villains. The villain saying you want to start anything with us pigs. Then you better be ready to finish it. And the referee saying, get back, this is not. You have to get in the corner. There's supposed to be a tag team match between the strong white buffaloes. And the proper villains, but it looks like the Square Circle Police Department is going to take over. He must have had a noise complaint. And English charging a DDT right into the corner. And now picking up the big Brockman. Eden English not showing any fear. Does the deal. Stomping away now to the wrist of the big Brockman as Bossman watches his uh, second in command, his lieutenant. Is a pick up. No, he blocks it. Short to the midsection. Beautiful judo roll there by the proper villain, Aiden English. And now, please come in. Trying to go for the front face lock. Lariat right across the chin. Has stayed it here since their debut last season with the big Blake man and the big boss Murph, who have since then been executed from the academy. They have new cadets in the Big Brockman, the Big Boss Show, and the Authors of Law. European uppercut! And now English heading up to the top. Telling Brockman to get back to his feet. Strolling European uppercut, but nobody home on that one. It's very rare that we see that one executed. Snap suplex. Bringing him back to his feet. 
Brings him in with a big side slam. No, the backbreaker this time is Gallagher, the lady killer. Watching on, cheering on his proper villain partner. Northern Light Suplex, Aiden English. Such a master of the technical mat work. Irish whip. No reversal to the outside. Gets caught with a boot to the head. Springboard. Closed line, I'm guessing. It was very ergonomic, that execution. Policeman's carry by the big Brock, man. I was uh, specifically told to call it that. Last time I called it a fireman's carry, when he did it, he almost choked me out. So, whatever. And now, tagging in, maybe? Yes, it is. Tag in to the captain, the big boss man. As English rolls back to his feet, showing no fear, whips boss man into the corner. What the fuck is he doing? No, he's chasing him, making him play cat and mouse. And jacks the jaw right on the top rope. Telling boss man, come on, law boy. Springboard, clothesline, down he goes. Gallagher just going along with the plan. That's just how it works. Northern Lights suplex. That time hitting the ropes on the way down. Turn around with the shot. And now the sleeper slam. His modification from his teacher, Sir William Regal, at the Blackpool Wrestling Academy. Drop kick miss. Gallagher was waiting too long. Lolly footing on those turnbuckles, but still showing no fear. As you can see, the height difference between him and Bossman rolls through. Bulldog headlock. Shot now turns him around into the corner. Bossman can seem to get a grip. It has to be the hair gel. And drops him down on the knee. Picks him back up. Swinging neck breaker. Almost twisting it off like a cap. One. No, not even a one count. Back elbow there by Gallagher. Goes in. Crucifix with the pin. But no, he's in the ropes. And now, heading up to the top. Missing the splash. Trying to head towards unsafe territory is Jack Gallagher. Now bringing him back up to his feet. Club right to the back of the vest. One is Kevlar, the other one is fine Italian silk. Tagging now to Big Brock, man. Referee telling Bossman, get out. You only have to count to five. And now, what does Brockman have in here? Elbow drop to the small of the back of Jack Gallagher. And just staring down what he calls a perp in Gentleman Jack Gallagher. Saying, come on. Overhead shot. Turns him around with the second one. Tries to go for the German suplex towards Cell Block City. But no, Jack Gallagher hits him with those back elbows. Gets bypassed now and picks him up with a scoop slam. No, this time with a hip breaker. And a second one hanging on. John Jack by the Lady Killer. Who's now looking to lift him up. Slam suplex. Look at the power of Gallagher. But no, Lesnar floats over. Oh boy, German suplex into the ropes. Look at his body. Disgustingly landing. And the fence, Jennifer Stelbrock City, they're gonna get it right into the ropes! And the second one, there it is! And the third one, just as where he started! Into the ropes! Oh! Mamma mia! Picks him up, no, he crashes into him, but Lester catches him with one hand on him! But he floats over, reverse DDT as English! Trying to hop in to save his partner, but his partner had all the cards. Dropping the foot. His beautiful shoes. And now picking him up. Driving down the knee into the back of the big Brock man. Doing smack with now, but you might have to stay tuned for work in progress. For we will have a very special match for everyone. Well, rolls out to safety as the proper villains collecting themselves. 
Hits him with the overhand shot. And now, whoa, what a flip there by Jack Gallagher. Now Irish reversal, off the ropes he goes. Back elbow. Oh, that made him angry, him up. Lazy spine buster. Irish reversal, over the top rope goes boss man. Clubbed him down to the floor with that spear. And now Gallagher celebrating him holding his ground against both the big Brock man and the big boss man. But he is in dangerous territory right there, Brock Lesnar. It's outside, the rules are different, folks, as he throws Gallagher back inside. Club to the chest, boot to the head. And Gallagher feeling very rocked by that, that strike. Tags into Aiden English. Charges in, ducks the Polish hammer, Brockman. Bossman now with a back body drop. Oh, pulling the cartilage and the eyes. Polish hammer. Down goes Bossman. Ducks that line. Referee, get the hell out of the way. Picks him up onto the top rope. Oh, strike right to the face. What the hell is Bossman doing? What the hell is Bossman doing? Bossman! Bossman! Picking up! And an English suplex to the outside! And the fans chanting, this is awesome! I have to agree with them. Charging in! Onto the psychedelic floor! And English is definitely feeling the repercussions. Oh, taint drop. Whoa, Polish hammer. Busted open the big boss man. Elbow drop. And English trying to get back into the ring. Proper villains escaped with a victory. Brockman is pissed with proper villainy. They were able to fight off the impromptu match with the squared circle PD. As they celebrate their villainous triumph. And the fans are very appreciative. Only three stars, but still a lot of fun. As the proper villains escape with a win. And here we are, folks. The man event of Smackwood. Alistair Black is set to take on the naked boy, Ric Flair. And if any one of you are new to WFWF, you will know that this is definitely a matchup that is m met with excitement for a reason. Here we go, folks. We're starting things off. Here comes Alistair Black. And I believe these two. Have a history with each other as we wait. For the very dramatic entrance. It is very revered here in Italy. Alistair Black.
And there he is, Alistair Black. And he is ready to go. Slowly walking down the dark path. On his way to the ring, it looks so cool in this stage. As Alistair Black, the leader of this mortal coil, as I stated, fronted by him, second in command Neville, and the tag team of Page and Nikki Cross. Agreed, Alchemist. As Alistair Black awaiting. The arrival of his opponent, who he knows to be very unpredictable, very hard to kill. And now fixing his neck. Here he comes, the naked boy, Ric Flair. Oh, he's getting the grand entrance. Naked man being lowered from the golden showering heavens. The naked boy, Ric Flair. Yeah, I agree, Michael. Showing himself in his grand, all natural glory. The naked boy, Ric Flair, says he is loved in Italy enough to where they built this entrance for him. And just praising the crowd. Woo! <laughs> Where the hell's the ring? Oh well, guess I'll go home. Oh, there it is! The Rick Fair. I think it's an understatement to say that he had a few glasses of wine. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Just gotta go in and run in there. Oh shit, the ring's exploding! Boing! And landed perfectly in a standing position. And Alistair Black not even faced as Ric Flair adjusting his ankle skin or his knee skin. Charging in now, STO! Alistair Black says he is not going to take Ric Flair lightly. Goes to the cover already. And now breaking it. No! My goodness! Slamming down. Alistair Black now catches the foot. Climb up wheel kick by the naked boy Ric Flair. This has been an Italiano dream match. All of Italia has been wanting to see this match ever since word got around that Alistair Black was signed to WFWF. And oh, what a kick down for the naked boy Ric Flair has definitely shown. His, uh, his skills. And what the hell is Alistair doing? Pointing down. Oh, you son of a bitch. Punches under the ground. Oh, look, he's sitting. Classroom style. He's into the job, tries to go for the cutter, but no luck on that one. Kick to the midsection. And now front face lock, lifting knee right onto the nose. Step up kick blocked. Flair, another wheel kick. And now Alistair grabbing him by the back of the neck. Slamming his face down into the apron. Stunt to the midsection.
And Flair making sure this does not end in a count at least for Alistair Black. The naked boy, Ric Flair, has definitely led some interesting victories in his time. And now, Pepsi twist! Short arm shoulder tackle there by the naked boy, Ric Flair. Gets pushed off by Alistair Black, leader of this mortal coil. Shot to the midsection. Picks him up. Reverse DDT. It's up in now, tries to go for something majorly as he stared into the glossy eyes of Ric Flair, but Ric Flair hit him in with a naked fireman suplex and already backslider! One, two, no! Alistair kicks out! And Flair thinks it's all over! I did it! I beat him! Where it's Charlotte? Oh, that spinning knee to the face, catching Ric Flair! Lifting now onto the chin. Gets caught. Places him into the corner. Drives the elbow into the kneecap. And now Flair. What the hell is he going for here? Oh! Ali up! Ali up! Right into the turnbuckles! But Black has just completely shook it off. Catches Flair with the naked Meteora. Still some of that power bomb. And now the corner! Into the dragon sleeper, hooking the arms into the back of the head. And Flair being twisted and turned. Like a nude pretzel. Rolls through with the snap man. Over the top goes Flair hanging on. No, he catches over the toe of the eye. And now springboard. Oh, drops the taint. Flying Gooch, Michael. One, two, two can only. And now Ric Flair. Waiting to go on the outside, makes his movement. You might want to move, referee. Referee Jeremy Davies. Springboard. Catches him again with the Flying Gooch. It gets kicked into the head. Rolls through. Flair now. Picking him up, taking him to the opposite side. Snapmare takeover. Misses that kick. Ah, that's that black with the black mask. This could be all. This could be all. One, two, no. And Alistair Black is not surprised by this. He knows the legend of the naked boy, Ric Flair, driving the shoulder into the mat. Oh, no. Flair could be going for another alley-oop or possibly another back slider. Oh no, he's hitting him into the corner. No, Alistair reverses into an arm drag. I'm drag. No, the shoulder tackle. Now picking him up, dragging him away from the ropes. Wow, no. Shining toenails. <laughs> Forearm smash. Oh, Flair gets launched to the outside. Weird sex ground by Ric Flair. Thrown into the table. Slammed again. Ducks the line. Snuggy DDT. No, he fights off, punching the midsection of one Alistair Black. Goes in, kicks him off. Whoa, what a naked kip up. That's very popular here in Italy. The naked kip up is a custom here in Milan, Italy. <laughs> and now Flair heading up to the top. Oh, Dolphin Splash! Technically a flying headbutt. But he, he dropped a little too short. Seemed to have hurt himself more than he did the damage too. Alistair Black. Alistair throwing Flair back onto the inside. Slaps him into the back twice. Flair rolls back to his feet. Gets caught in. Oh, shit. German suplex. No! Blocks with the back elbow. Face first into the turnbuckles. And now turning him around. Picks him up. What does Flair have in mind here? Rolly Spacoli! And now slamming the arm of Alistair Black. That'll take care of your fancy footwork. 
Uh, Flair claiming that working the arm is going to make it difficult for Alistair to kick him. Back up. Oh, that was right on the button. And Flair, Flair throws him over. Blocks the shot. Forearm smash. Springboard. Oh, knee to the face. And now Alistair Black picks him up. No, Flair slides over with a sweaty. And now picking him up. What does he have in store here? No, Alistair popping him in the eye. Slamming him down on the back of the head. What is he going to go for now? Flights him over. Oh, dropping Flair right onto the back of his head. And Alistair just crawls over. One, two, no, Flair. Springs right out of bed like he has a pa an alimony hearing. And Alistair shooting in for another black mask, but no luck. Flair reverses it. Picks him up, but Alistair now reverses it with DDT. Stomps the nose of Ric Flair. And now picking him up with it, though. Black mass! Hooks the leg. One, two, three. He got him. Well, that's an old joke of mine, Michael. And here is your winner, Alistair Black, after a hard-fought victory. Staying there, keeping his dark chi about him. Well, folks, that was one hell of a man event. That's going to do it here for Smackwood. I want to thank you for joining us here in Milan, Italy. Please stay tuned for an all-new episode of Work in Progress right after I make a pee-pee. Be right back. We are back. All right, this is all for Smackwood. Let's go to the next show. <laughs> Ciao. Oh, boy, folks. That was one hell of an episode of WFWF Smackwood. Live from Milan, Italy. I want to thank you guys for sticking around, especially after all of that noise. Um, uh, Let's go ahead now. And see what we got in store for the next show. What do you say, folks? All right, let's go ahead. Oh boy, a Fordal Fayway between these crazy guys. Ric Flair wants to take on one of the authors of Law. A uh, very hot triple threat. The fit fucking no! I thought I ended that feud. God damn it! You know what? Fuck this. We're going to switch a couple of matches. What do you say, folks? 
We're going to keep this. No, no, no. We're going to do this into a Fordal Feyway. Braun Strowman, AJ Stylish, Roman Reigns, and Rikishi. Fat Oos. <laughs> Customize the matches, of course, folks. This is going to be a Fordal Fayway. So let's see, who did we have? We had Roman Reigns, AJ Stylish. Rikishi Fat Oos. And then who is the other one? I always forget the last one. Who was the last one? Does anybody remember? Okay. Oh, it was Braun. It was Braun Bella. Ron Bella. Okay, and then what else do we have here? So we're going to accept that one. And then... Ric Flair wants to take on Rezar. Now, should it be Ric Flair versus Rizar, or should it be someone else? You guys mow that over. Triple Threat seems fine. I feel we could add a little bit more to it. But Triple Threats are usually pretty good. Um, let's see. We are not going to have a tag match. Okay, should be someone else. That's fine, foolhardy. All right, someone else. Not a problem. Don't want to give you guys the same stuff over and over again. Brawn mode? Oh, no, it's not struggling, Alchemist. Because her sister, Nikki Bella, is very supportive of her sister. Brawn mode. So... All right, we're going to change the participants. Um, thinking. All right, we'll see how this one goes. <laughs> Now, I'm racist with... Oh, it is Rezar. Okay, cool. Whew! <laughs> da -da 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 -da. But honestly, I think that should be a standard fucking fight, don't you think? Yeah, we're going over an hour today. I'm fine with that. Um, let's see, that's the Fordal Feyway. Let's put some fucking weapons in this match. What do you say, folks? Customize the match. Standard fucking fight. Sammy Mammy takes on Rezar. <laughs> No, I asked for flair. So. Unless you guys want to see Sammy versus Flair. Yeah, I assumed everybody meant Flair, so. Hmm. This 
this is equally matched. <laughs> All right. So the next matchup. Triple threat's fine. Oh, ouch. That hurt. Um, next matchup. You know what? Next matchup, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this as the semi man event. I know it's a rivalry match. And we'll ruin it. But you know what? Let's go ahead. We're going to customize the match on this one. And we're going to do something that I've always wanted to do. A Thunderdome death match. No, 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 no. That's got to be safe for another else. That's going to be the next show. That's going to be the next show. Because that is a long fucking match. So... What we'll do is, on this one... Yeah, the Thunderdome Deathmatch will debut... in the future. Who the fuck is the Television Way Champion? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know anymore. There's so much stuff here. You know what? We're going to have some fun with this one. We're going to see... Jake Steele... in a classic grudge match take on Big Ass McStrong Fall. <laughs> Actually, let's see, let's see if, uh, let's see what the fucking titles are for one. It's actually, it needs to be a television weight title match, so, let me see here. Who is the television weight champion? Damn it! Sami Zayn! <laughs> so, you know what? We're gonna do something a little unorthodox here. We're gonna go ahead... Killian Dane's the cruiserweight champion, by the way. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll switch. We'll switch competitors on that one. Sammy's title. Sammy's match will be a television weight title match, and then, um, yeah. So that's a thing. Isn't this fun, you guys? <laughs> A Michael McDonald street fight between these two. Now, do we want Jake Steele to take on Mick Strongfuck? Or are we down to see Jake Steele take on Daniel Foolhardy? So McStrongfuck or Mc or Foolhardy, McFoolhardy. <laughs> All right, in a Michael McDonald street fight. Actually, it's a taking it to the street fight. <laughs> you don't know me, but I'm your brother. <laughs> oh, this is a match. Of Michael McDonald taking it to the street fight. <laughs> taking it to the streets. So we gotta change this now. Let's 
going to be a fucking TV to eight title fight. And then for this one, we're just going to change a little something on it. Can we add a title to that? Okay, there we go. We are done. I wish there was a way you could put the rivalry back into the match, because anytime you edit it, it... Oh, fuck me! It's just a... Yep, okay, there it is. It's, it's fine the way it is. Let's go ahead and start this fucking show, shall we, folks? Oop, can't push options. <laughs> Don't want to fuck that one up again. <laughs> All right, folks, welcome. Yes, MSK, that's an old joke. Maybe, Michael. Here we are, folks, Long Beach, California at Jefferson High School. Bring you a new episode of Work in Progress. We got ourselves a stack card because you saw us put the fucking thing together. Onwards! Here we go, folks. A Fortal Fayway match is going to start things off here. Braun Bella taking on Rikishi Fat Oos, AJ Stylish, and Roman Rear. Then we have Sammy Mammy Zane putting his World Television Weight title on the line against Razar of the Squared Circle PD. Then we got us a triple threat of Beth Phoenix, Bailey, and Asuka. Then we have ourselves a one-on-one -on -one Michael McDonald taking it to the street fight tonight as Jake Steele takes on Daniel Foolhardy. Then in the man event, a grudge match with some gold on the line as the Basement League Championship is being defended. By one Gene Moxley against Das Veden. Well, let's go ahead and start this matchup, folks, right now. All right. Rikishi Fat Oos coming into the WFWF to support his sons, formerly known as the Dusos, but they said that gimmick was shit. And so now they have to. I can't believe I made that gimmick, by the way. Now they are here for some day one-ish kind of stuff. Like, you know, they're not sure if it's day one or not. They're kind of just resetting the clock every time, getting their feet, you know, getting their their footing, that type of thing. Roman Reigns of the very under-the-wire Christian coalition. Uh, Christian lining himself up with the wrestlers that remind him of the Lord and Savior. While as AJ Stylish, the leader of the Boutique Club... Setting to take on in this matchup. And then Braun Bella hoping to unleash some Braun mode onto her opponents here tonight in this Fortal Fayway 
opening contest as we head on down to the fighting pit at Jefferson High School in Long Beach, California. Whip! We're going to ghost ride this whip, folks. And start of the matchup here. AJ Stylish already going towards Brombella. Fat Oost took him to the outside. Oh, dropped on the hip as AJ Stylish. He's a Fordle Fayway rules, folks. Elimination style. Shot to the top. Oh, slamming down. And another one. This time with the power bomb on the inside. Dragon screw whip onto the legs of Rikishi Fat Oost. Whoa. Locks it in. Headbutt to the head. But. And back breaks the Kevlar vest. For some reason, Roman is selling that. We're supposed to make him look realistic, not strong here in WFWF. Oh, what a punch to the face there is Rikishi. He's a knuckle duster. Knife edge chopped to the face there by AJ Stylish. Now being Bron Bella. Picks up. Nope, floats over. Pulling neck breaker. Standing back body drop by the Fat Oost. Goes for the follow-up kick, but nobody home on that one. But AJ Stylish hits to the crossbody of one Roman Reigns. As the fans giving him a healthy, delightful cheer and boo. Slams down. Hooks in with that powerbomb one. No, he escapes. And now Braun, no, lifts onto the feet. Belly to belly, overhead by Roman. And now, stylish slamming down Braun. Drives the elbow right into the skull. Nope, that's blood, Michael. What the hell are you talking about? Goes in now. Whips into the corner. But gets thrown into the same pocket. Scrapes the form across the face, or the beard, I should say. Face buster there by Rikishi. Slam into the corner. And th what the fuck? How did Styles get in the Tree of Woe? The Tree of Lawrence position. And throw to the opposite corner by Braun Bella. Collides into Rikishi. Rikishi knows the source of that one. Over the top it goes. Shot to the midsection there as Braun Bella follows. On the outside, look at the power of AJ Stylish. Ready to take Rikishi Fanus to the supercut. And that, well, that was going to go for the phenomenal forearm, but no luck on that one. Now Rikishi heading in. Oh, unsafe! Unsafe! My AJ Stylish throwing all of his body weight. Dragon screw whip. Trading kicks now on the inside. Nice take over there by Stylish as Ron just getting her face worked over by the fists of Roman Reigns. And now Stylish inviting Rikishi back to his feet. Phenomenal forearm. One, two, no, Rikishi escapes. Yes, folks, this is a hand-me-down ring in a hand-me-down arena. As you can see, the guardrails at Jefferson High School are heavily graffitied with Eat My Fuck. Twisting gut buster now. Roman charging in. Spear! But gets caught with a DDT by Braun Bella. Whip to the outside. Punches. Stylish right in the mush. And now picking her up. No, Stylish reverses into a DDT. Why do you think the logo is written in permanent marker for Christ's sakes? Look at the dried blood on the mats on the outside. Rolls through with that neck drop. It's in now. Side rushing leg sweep onto the ropes. Rokishi Fat Usa's neck. 
And now Roman charging up the spear. Right into the gut of Rakishi Fanus goes for the hook. One, two, no! Stylish breaks it. Lands on the feet. Oh, a club punch to the face. Oh, shortstop Ray Buckster. Right on the head of Braun Bella. Double charging, but Stylish blocks off the spear. Something tells me there's bitterness between these two bitches. Close slide is a corner. Kick to the midsection. And now picking, holy shit. Look at the power, Stylish. Styles Clash busting open some fresh blood into the ring. No, completely. Breaking the count, Broad Bella. Picks up by that luscious locks of flowing hair. Statmer takeover. Elbow shot. Whipped into the corner of the WCW turnbuckles. Back elbow to the face of Braun Bella. AJ was trying to go for another one. Throw it over the top into the dry blood. And now draping over the middle rope. No, Rikishi gets out of it. But Roman catches with a big crucifix powerbomb coming in. Oh, pin one. Two! No! Rakishi kicks out! And Roman saying, I'm the man! Or I'm the dog! I'm the dog! The big bad dog! And now... Oh, what a slam by Braun! And just feeling the orgasms in the corner. Rikishi was taken out by that spear. Three eliminated. And charging in over the head, belly to belly on the Braun. Rikishi Fat Oos is the first elimination in this matchup. And there's the pickup. Catches that boot, drives the elbow into the knee. Slaps the back of the head. Now placing on top of the turnbuckle. Kicks the chest. Double axe handle. Stylish wasn't quick enough to get to the turnbuckles. Oh, catches a knee to the temple. Uppercut by Braun. Chops over the head. Turns her around. Kicks the leg out of the leg. And now rolls Braun right on the back of the neck. Springboard. Lioness press. One, two, no! And Stylish measure it up, but no, Roman stole the thunder. Ramming bronze back right into those thin turnbuckle padding. And now charging in, but no, Stylish grabbing the hair. Tornado DDT! Picks up Roman. No, Roman with a back body drop. Arm drag reversal. Blocks the shot into the abdomen. Belly to belly. Overhead into the corner. Braun now back into the ring. Clubs the back. Picking him up. No, Styles, you dumb bitch. Goes in, go for the super cut, but no, Roman breaks free. Oh my god! Dropping Stylish right on the head! Back over there, Roman Spear! No! Caught by Braun! Into the DDT! Drops the elbow right into the ass cheek. Shoots it in the legs! And Stylish is not moving, just completely dropped on the top of his head. Drives the elbow right into those skinny, bony ass knees of Braun. Out of reversal into the corner, face first goes Roman. And now Braun ready to lawn dart. Brrr. Choking at the heart.
Forearm smash there by Stylish. And now throwing Roman to the outside. Oh, shit. It's time to fly. It's time to tope nobody home. Back elbow by Braun. Shot to the midsection, I guess. <laughs> Overhead shot now on to Roman. Roman gets the go behind. Going to the back of the hair. And now electric chair dropping Braun. As Braun rolls to the outside. Stylish now picking up Roman. No, Roman springs out. Claw punch to the face. Braun now goes in. Schoolboy lifts up. Power bomb. Not as impressive as Sinkara's, but whatever. Roman now picking up Stylish. Stylish hits him with a back elbow. Charges in. Caught with a DDT. Irish with reversal. Into the corner he goes. Oh, Braun charging the party. And now Roman. Tornado DDT. Irish rip. Colliding, no man really moving, just only stumbling. Picks up. Heads to the top. You see in the corner, eat my fuck. And now picking up Braun. Power bomb from the corner. Picks up Braun. No, Braun loses just the leg out from underneath. This is only the first matchup of this work in progress broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. Heads up, nope, judo throw. Kick across the back there by Stylish. It's at the top. Oh, missing the shot. What the fuck? Braun now catching in the back of the head. Reverse choke slam. And now placing the hand on the hard one. Two, three, Roman is eliminated. Now Stylish. Working over the knees. Picks up Braun. Loads over. Back of the knee. And returning the favor. Drives onto the back of the spine. Lioness press. One. Two, no! Braun escapes. Picks up into the super cut! And Stylish lose all the energy on that one. Knows that it's gonna take one more big blow, but no! Braun hits the back body drop. Headbutt by Stylish, that's dangerous. Kick to the midsection. Shot in, snap suplex. Back elbow. That all it took was one, folks. And now Stylish picking up Braun. Hooks the legs and the arms. Oh, busting open Braun. One, two, three! Stylish wins! And AJ Stylish is the winner of this portal fadeaway. And that person's sign just disappeared in the front row. <laughs> Saying, all oh, y'all need a haircut. And what a victory by AJ Stylish. That was only the first matchup of the night, folks, for this work in progress broadcast as we have World Television Weight Gold being defended in this next match as Rezar 
set to take on Sami. I mean, Sami Zayn, sorry. Here we go, folks, with our next matchup. I'm excited. I know you are, too. The following matchup is scheduled for one vote, and it's for the WWF World TV Way title. Look at my butt. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. And the acid just kicked in. I don't know where that video was showing because we don't have any video screens. We just have that projection sheet on top. And here he comes in the riot gear. Yeah, it would have been cheap. They like to call themselves the Riot Gear, the Riot Squad, if you will, of the Squared Circle PD. On, no, These two tanks, well, one of two tanks, Razar. He wants to bring back gold to the precinct of the Squared Circle PD. Cheering along with it. Uh, 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 let's go! And the world television weight champion, Sami Zayn, making his way down to the ring, just happy with his newsy hat. Sound like I was saying Oscar. <laughs> Which I do call her name out in the middle of the night in my dreams. I don't care how that makes you look. And Sammy pretending to throw his hat. Here we go. Show the graphic, folks. That gorgeous World Television Weight Championship on the line. Let's go to JoJo. Bizarre announcements. Introduce it first. From the Square Circle PD, he's big ass shit. This is Rizar. Or Rizarro. <laughs> he's one greasy individual. And his opponent. He is the current reigning and defending WFWF World Television Weight Champion and the head rude boy in charge, Sammy Zane. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, JoJo. <laughs> As referee. John Legend 
Holding up that belt. That butt. <laughs> That's a gorgeous belt, folks. It's so simple. And Razar shaking out the rolls. Same with Sammy. These two now lock it up. Front face lock applied. Goes in now. Northern Lights suplex. Into the dead center of the ring. It's a 15-minute time limit with these world television weight matches. We have a specific time frame to keep it in. What a Frankensteiner there by the champion. He drove Rezar on the back of his hair, on the top of his haircut. And Rezar now just winding the arm down, driving the shoulder into the mask. Working over the arm, trying to weaken the grasp of Sami Zayn so he's unable to hit the brain buster. No sweet chocolate in the future. Short arm shoulder tackle there by Sammy. It's in forearm smash now. Club to the back of the head. And drops him down! That skanky driver rolling big boy sent on. And now the Mahistral stretch. Now look at him just completely. It's not a key crusher because no key is not in this game. And now Rizar picking up the champion, the world television weight champion of WWF, Sami Zayn. Off the ropes, he goes back. Elbow just capturing him right in the mush. Hits him with that knee to the spine. Goes for the lateral press. One, one count only. I'm not surprised. It takes a hell of a lot more to keep Sami Zayn down, even for a two count. Catches him with a snap air takeover once again. Sammy blocks through, punch to the belt buckle. As the world television weight champion now ducks the clothesline, but misses the opportunity on the second one. Getting caught into the ropes, but uses it to his advantage to roll to the outside, trying to play cat and mouse. Rizar says, you want to go outside? Fine, you stay outside. But Sammy now with a forearm. Springboard missile dropkick to the face. And now picking him in. No, Rizar breaks it with an elbow to the top of the head. And now capturing Sammy, lifting him up with the greatest of ease. No, Sammy needs him to the top of the head. Northern Lights suplex dead center of the ring, but no bridge. Sammy now picking him up. Overhead shot. Oh. Dragon suplex. One. One count only. Standing back body dropped there by Rizar. Larian just completely crumbling and tumbling. Sami Zayn as Rizar now picking him up. Oh shit. No, Sami reverses into the Lucha style. Arm drag takeover. And Sami either can pin or submit Rizar or let the time run out. We have 12 minutes remaining in this 15 minute contest. And now Sami throwing him to the outside into the dry pool of blood. And now Sammy measuring up, binding his time. Tope Cohio right on top of the challenger. Drop kick to the back of the head. And now half and half suplex. Oh, back elbow to the head. Thought he was going to put him into the side of the ring. But now Rizar hits him with the STO. And now just completely working over the eye socket of Sammy. And drops him onto the knee. Head first into the pole. Sammy definitely holding his own against the big man, Rezar. Need ET. And look at the power just choking, but Sammy just using that momentum to his favor. Even with the arm drag, box in the ear. Sammy can even keep the title via count out. Elbow. And another one. Third time breaking free. Throws him back on the inside. Sammy now. Taking his sweet ass time. Heel to the face. Rizar now getting caught. Rolling into the corner. 
What the hell does he have in store here? Picking up the big man, Rezar. He's got less than 10 minutes. And now heading up to the second rope. Superplex coming in. What the fuck is he doing? Bray Buster! Sweet chocolate on the turnbuckle! Drives the arm right into the shoulder. Things are not looking good here. It seemed to just make Rezar even more mad. Reverse DDT. Big Lediato! Shot right to the ribs. Blocks that belly to belly. Rolls through with the arm drag. Picks him up. Drops him on the knee. Oh, that took a lot out of Sammy. He's saying, go for the cover. Why not? One, two. No, Rezar escapes. And Sammy's saying, all right. Just got to keep going. Could either put him away or let the time run out. But knowing Sammy Zayn, he will want this match to have a definitive finish. Over the top he goes. And catches him with a boot to the head. Sammy now springboard. Sent on Atomic. Go finds its mark dead center. And now waiting for Rezar to get back to his feet. He's going to hit for the kill. No, Rezar blocks him with a fireman's carry takeover. But Sammy rolls back to his feet. Rezar catching him like a claw game with a prize. Snapmare takeover. Kick to the back. Oh, that pissed off Sammy a plenty. Back elbow. Big Larian once again! Heavy on to Sammy and now Rezar. Loading him in. Oh shit. Picking up Sammy. Power bomb with a bridge. One, two. No, Sammy escapes. Is that power bomb press? Excuse me. And now Sammy picking him up into a fireman's carry. But Rezar fighting out of it. Shoot it, but busting open. Sammy Zayn, all that weight just colliding into his cranium. Or the frontal lobe, actually. Back elbow to the midsection. Now Sammy going to have to pull on all the stops on this one as the blood pours from his forehead. And now, explode into the corner. One, two, three. Sammy got him. Here's your winner, it's still WFWF World Television Way Champion, Sammy! Oh, S Sammy Zane! And we thought that she was going to go for another long pronunciation. But Sammy successfully defends his World Television Way Championship here in WFWF as the blood pours from his head which just makes his victory stance a lot more epic, folks. As the World Television weight title goes back home with Sami Zayn tonight. Here we have our next matchup, folks. A triple threat treat. If you uh, share the same point of views as me, Bailey. Versus Asuka versus Beth Phoenix. And this is definitely something for the books, folks. We're giving the women the much bigger opportunity than we could in the previous seasons. We got a much bigger roster, much better opportunities for them. Hardly any restrictions. And the question is, which one of these three lovely but deadly ladies is going to take the victory back to the locker room? Well, let's find out. And the fans are on their feet. As Asuka has entered the building.
<clears throat> Such a gracious athlete like Asuka climbing through these hand-me-down ropes and ring of work in progress is definitely something to say about her. Doesn't care where she's at, she wants a fight. She is all smiles. And here comes Huggy McBig Pants, Bailey. And we got him, the wacky waving inflatable arm flailing two men. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing two men. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing two men. Or the balloon buddies. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you like it. This sounds like Bailey song. It's in Ray Glace, yes, and it's not Bailey song. Maybe you like it. <laughs> And fans love them some Bailey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. As it says there on the guardrail. And now the third participant. Uh, uh. Beth Phoenix wearing her big match whites. The Glamazon all bare knuckles. Heading down to the ring. Yeah. Whoop. Oh, dude, she looks incredible. Here we go, folks. Asuka versus Bailey versus Beth Phoenix in this female triple threat matchup. Let's go and start it up, folks. Bailey dropping Asuka right on the back. Screams to the elbow onto the face. But Beth now catches over the front face lock. Picks up with the greatest of ease. No! Re reversed! into a DDT. Nicely done. Whoa! The agile, mobile, and hostile ility. <laughs> Michinoku driver. You know what to do, folks. German suplex. No! Beth lands right on her feet into the corner. MSK, where are you? If it, if it gets out of hand. Swing it around. Drives her down into the dead center. And now picking up Asuka. No, Asuka. Over the shoulder. Drops down. the back tornado DDT in the corner now is Asuka John Jack whoa Asuka lands on her feet back suplex and trying to go for the knee to the butt but no luck on that one. Oh, that time Catching Asuka off guard. It's through now. What has she got in store here? Oh, she's going to go for a power bomb into the corner, but now she breaks free. And now, Bailey helping her out. Oh, face buster! 
onto the damn bottom rope. And that just seemed to piss off Beth Phoenix even more as Asuka wanting them both to bring it on. Firewoman's carry take over there by Beth Phoenix. Charging in, Crucifix into the corner. Picks up over the shoulder onto Bailey. Drops her down into the guillotine. Asuka says she'll take them both on if she has to at the same damn time. Overhead shot now, Beth trying to get that German suplex. But Asuka with the back elbows, two of them exact, swings around with that punch to the face. Knee to the midsection by Asuka, blocking whatever attempt. And there's an elbow to the forehead by Beth Phoenix. Irish whip into the corner now as Bailey regaining her consciousness. Oh, breaks up the attempt of a turnbuckle maneuver. Double team slam! Da 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 da. Let the girls be girls. Over the top she goes. The fans chanting for Bailey. As Beth Phoenix goes with a stolen and fallen suplex. Irish went into the corner. And now Bailey going for a suplex into the turnbuckles as we saw Beth Phoenix rolling onto her head. And Asuka rolls through with that leg trap, but no luck. Back up with it by Bailey. Overhead shot. Side Russian leg sweep. Beth Phoenix trying to gain herself once again. One. No, a one count only. And that kick to the back woke up Asuka. No, Bailey catches her with the fence press, slamming her head into the mat. Overhead shot blocked, forearm smash as Phoenix gaining some power from the crowd. German suplex, no, lands on her feet again. Bailey's like a cat with a ponytail. Big soul butt. And now, Evi! <laughs> well, she kicked her in the face. Thought she was going to go for the butt attack. And now winds her up. Applies the Asuka lock into the body scissors. Beth Phoenix is going nowhere. If Bailey can get to her. Before she taps out, it's over! Beth Phoenix tapped out! And the fans chatting for Bailey, even though she lost. And Asuka celebrating a hard-fought victory. Here we go, folks, with a Michael McDonald taking it to the street fight balls count anywhere in this matchup folks as Daniel Foolhardy and Jake Steele former tough enough brethren set to take on one another in this brutal competition Here we go, folks. As the loading engine is finally put into place here. This guy is... <laughs> 
as Daniel Fullardy waits in the back as I see him peek through the curtain looking at Jake Steele shaking his head saying oh my god this guy is high off his ass but I'll have to say bitchin jacket Achoo! Uh, 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 chew! And here comes a guy who is even more in his own world. <laughs> Daniel Foolhardy, the reckless one. Daniel Foolhardy. <laughs> Keep forgetting to fix that. I really need to fix that after the show. <laughs> and pointing up at the lights. Or the Sheik in heaven. I don't know who what he's pointing at, but Daniel Foolhardy is here trying not to catch a seizure from all these flickering lights. That's why he's wearing the sunglasses, I guess. Here we go, folks. Foolhardy versus Steele. And a Michael McDonald taking it to the streets fight. Goes over that midsection. Kick to the leg. Saying even though these men... Oh, nice head scissors take over there by Foolhardy. Even though these men are signed to WFWF contracts, they still wrestle like they did when they were hungry. When they were starving, when they were in the tough enough competition, ripcord! Almost like a guitar tuner. Hop up, Hurricane Rana there by Foolhardy. Jake Steele, of course, the first tough enough winner. Over the top he goes. No, oh, catches Foolhardy right into the head. Springboard, forearm smash! A stop right now to the wrist. Back elbow. Floats over. Reverse DDT. And now telling Foolhardy to get back to his feet. Drops. Oh, misses that knee shot. What the fuck kind of kip up was that, Fool? <laughs> As Steele just trying to bend his spine in the wrong place. And now Foolhardy drops the knee. No, he rolls through. Steele saw it coming a mile away. Need the midsection. Rocker dropper. No, into the run attempt. Face buster. Into an alley bomb almost. And those Kawana kicks lifting him off the ground just for a few seconds. Well, it's over. Exploder. Now Foolhardy saying, I'm got you. Now goes for the Swanton Bomb. Nobody home on that one. Snap jab by Jake Steele. Launches him over the top rope. Catches him with a kick again. They have yet to go on the outside. Springboard. Forearm smash again. Finds its mark on the head of Daniel Foolhardy. On drag reversal. Rolls through. But gets caught by Foolhardy. Puts him against the ropes. Over the shoulder. Oh, his feet, knife edge chop. These guys are killing the business, folks. Overhead shot blocked. Kick to the midsection. Northern Lights suplex with a bridge. One. No, a one count only. Throws him into the corner. 
Steele now taking shots to the face. We'll see with that judo flip. Attempting to go. Oh! Slams him down face first. And the fans here, the kids here at Jefferson High School are losing their shit over this. Balls count anywhere. Michael McDonald taking it to the street fight. As they go into the eat my fuck corner. Steele trying to get foolhardy over that rail. Just slamming him down, but he keeps meeting him with the knee to the midsection. And now, trying to go for the Tiger Driver. Close line, almost takes the face off. Standing twisty by Jake Steele. Overhead shot. Swole pulls the neck down onto the stairs. It seems Foolhardy's going into business for himself. No, he reverses. The script is calling for them to go over that guardrail. But it doesn't seem like that's the case tonight as he puts him over. Oh, slams him. Straight up first, right into those stairs. Moonsault from the standing position. As the school board watches on. So it's over. Back suplex under the dried blood. And now Jake Steele heading up to the top with the hops. Misses the fucking Cancun twister. Punches Foolhardy right onto the table. Cover. One. One count only. If that got a three, I would have laughed so hard. Kick to the back now. Overhead shot. Rolls in. Swings him up. Oh! Bounces his head right on the stairs. One. Two. Two count only. Swings in. Butterfly. Boom! That Tiger driver. And now Foolhardy looking to put away Jake Steele. Claps the ears. Fireman's carry. We really have to censor out that eat my fuck. This is live television. Public access with that cutter. And that was the stunner, folks. The stunning maneuver, I should say. cross arm driver on the floor! And busting open steel! One, two, three, steel! Oh yeah, I forgot, it's two out of three falls. <laughs> Knee to the midsection! Whips him out of the concrete! Get to the midsection again. This does not look good for Steele. Oh, rolls his neck right onto the floor. Party popper by Steele. Hooks the leg. One, two, no. As you see, the face of Steel as he's ready to hit again. Picks him up. Cuts him down on the floor. One, two, no. What the fuck, foolhardy? As the sobering blood of Jake Steel pours from his head. Dragon screw whip. Just dropping all that weight onto the knee of Jake Steele. Twist of it. No, no. It's a twist of fate with a little bit of ecstasy. It's in. Full of fools yet again. One, two, three. Uh, look at the body of 
fucking steal! Even though he's a little more grounded than he was when he first started. Foolhardy is reckless. <laughs> and now, folks, in our man event of the evening, the Basement League Championship is on the line as Das Veden, who's been at the throat of Gene Moxley, the Basement League Champion, who's been at the throat of Das Veden, the whether he's ducking him or playing the mind games. But tonight, folks, there is a title shot. Das Whedon has a major opportunity ahead of him to take home the Basement League Championship. This is the middleweight title. But it is the man event of the evening, folks. Here we go. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is for the Basement League Championship. Afforded. The bunch of German gibberish. I wish I'd paid attention, bitch. Here comes Darth Sweden with fire flowing. Dun, 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 dun. But look at his head scars clearly showing. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, he's rather happy about that entrance. <laughs> Gene Moxley just walking in with this title the Basement League Championship. His father. The loose cannon, Brian Pillman, Papa, Brian Pillman, won a major championship on the season finale of WFWF. And when Moxley went back to celebrate with them, all that was left was the title belt and a note saying, you're going to be great. And Moxley, who felt like he was making a real connection with his father, he tagged with him. He fought with him. And is left all alone once again, so that bitterness still remains. Let's go to JoJo's Bizarre Announcement right after this beautiful graphic we're about to show you. Look at that fucking belt, ladies and gentlemen. The Basement League Championship. Introduce it first with major arm seizures. He is Das 
Please, please stop shaking. We dance! And his opponent. He is the current reigning and defending WFWF Basement League Champion. The leader of Death and Denim. Gene Moxley! Ah! Handing over that ivory strapped piece of gold, white and gold, gold, yellow gold. Referee John Legend holds up that strap. Here we go, folks. Das Whedon taking on Gene Moxley in your man event of the evening. Sound of the bell. Here we go. Das Whedon now charging in, pulling the neck down. He's been wanting Moxley. For a long time, and the fact that there is gold on the line, he is willing to tear this man in two. Picks him up. No blocks of suplex. Shot to the midsection. Moxley using his bitterness and his rage to keep that belt around his shoulder. Oh, what a takedown there. And Das Rita now unloading the punches right on the face of Moxley. Stomp right there to the face. Turning him over. Drops the knee into the small of the back. Stomping away now. Moxley's feeling the pain of it, but he seems to be wanting more of it. Just sitting there taking his punishment while fighting back. Catches him down. And just unloading those punches. Ah! Moxley now heading up. No, what's he doing? Slides back in. He's playing the mind games here against Das Reden. Irish reversal into the corner. He goes back elbow right on the nose of Das Reden. Slow turn and neck breaker. No, Reden pushes him off. Picks him up. German suplex into the ropes. Almost launching Moxley through them to the outside. Kicks out the back of the knee. Does so again. Moxley sits down on the knee. Trying to dislocate it through those denim jeans. One. One count only. Now applying the pressure with those knees. But Moxley reverses himself out of it. World of Sports style picks up the heavy Das Sweden. We do reverses. Face buster into the corner. Arm bringer. Short arm shoulder tackle. Rolls through. Got the shot. Hit to the ribs. Das Sweden now catching Moxley right on the throat. Lifts him up with that press slam spine buster. Das Busta. One, two, and he was so close. Please keep your cool, Das Veden. He's now going in for the kill. Das Lariat, no, blocked with a fireman's carry take over there by Gene Moxley. Puts him against the ropes, but no, Whedon throws him over with a fireman's carry takeover. Floats over, hangs on, reverse DDT by Moxley. And Moxley seeming more unstable. A loose cannon, unlike his father, close line over the top. It's not even a loose cannon, he's just completely unhinged. And now Whedon slamming Moxley's head against the dried blood apron of this hand-me-down ring for work in progress. Trips out the leg after gaining his balance. Even wearing his boots like his father. Floats over. Reverse DDT. And now Moxley swinging that breaker coming in. No, Whedon flights out of it with a shot to the liver. Tries to go for the Das Lariat again. Turn over to Neckbreaker, pushes off onto Moxley. Das Lariat! One, two, three! Das Whedon wins! Das Whedon wins! Das Whedon is the new basement league champion! Here we 
is your winner and new basement league champion, Das Wienan. And Moxley just laid out on the outside. Das Wienan. He knew that all it he, all it took was the right moment as he's standing in the middle of the ring laughing and holding up his title in victory. The new Basement League Champion. Exactly a one-time Pride of the Lion Champion and now a Basement League Champion. He has held a contendership title and now a full singles title. Das Vieden, victorious in this man event of work in progress. Well, folks, that is going to do it here tonight for this broadcast of WFWF Universe. I want to thank you so much for joining us, those of you who stayed and those of you who even joined us for a few seconds. Follow this channel. Follow me at Dino Winwood on Twitter. Next time, folks, we will be joined with FUPA Underground, the second episode where our man event of that broadcast will be the King of the Death Fuck Championship held by the champion Rabbit who will face Cactus Jack answering his challenge. What match will they have in store for that? I have no fucking clue. But one way or the other, folks, we're going to see that belt defended in the next broadcast. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Dina Woodward saying I love you very much and OU818. Oh,